Search programs. What did you find? <laughs> <laughs> like my loan. Amazing. <laughs> about framing your search. <laughs> so much of life is about framing your search. Oh, that's the Bay Area? <laughs> oh, yeah, that does, that's San Francisco right there. You're right. But what's that? What's this lake coming up? So that's totally San Francisco. That was San Francisco. Yeah. And then that's, that's Baja California. Death Valley? Yeah. That's the... Yeah. That's the um, yeah. That's the, um, yeah. Oh, you missed your big brain over here. Well, we're, we're brain going over there right now, I think. Uh -huh. no. Oh, sorry. You can't, it's not close enough to see that. It's not quite right. Microphone. Oh, mm -hmm. microphone gets you. You're getting the sound too? La yep. luna. All right. Okay, um, so. Alternate to what? That's what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, so what, in the text it says that. It mentions an alternate way of taking others' hunger and thirst. So the, the original way was time, right? No, uh, maybe it didn't. It's no mirror. So usually you do it, for example, in the case of when you have a, a sickness in your body, mm. the, well, you have the problem, but there's an alternate way to do it with hunger, specifically hunger and thirst. No mirror, fasting. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are thinking that the past you take something from oh, people right. and you are <coughs> You're hungry you're anyway, so you might as well try it. Yeah. <laughs> by the power of your Dharma practice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Oops. So, yeah, so I think. Uh, well, you just said the, yeah. the answer to question two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so what's the cause of having someone uh, that forces forces and torments you to mental exhaustion and physical pain? Have and what's the solution? And yeah, and what's the solution? Become, becomes every, become everyone's servant. Gopher. Servant. Yes. How to it? Like what's it there? You're just teaching in Chinese? Yeah. Pao Tui. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now I'm. I'm a Pao Tui. Okay, three vocabulary words. Fast you always said that. You gotta switch the U and the Y, I think, there, uh, Sage. You go first. Okay. Yeah, oh. Smoonyun. Smoonyun. <laughs> I'm spelling with black. Imperative. Second one? Imperative. Of what? 
Gochu. Gochu. He was using it in mm. uh, in, ter- in relation to fasting. Mm. But it's imperative of Gochu. Which means? Mm-hmm. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I bet you're right, though. <laughs> no, I'm yeah. Just about it. Or do it. Yeah. So Substitute it. I am. Oh, I know the next one. Yeah, it was almost worth a lot of money. I'm gonna hold. Yeah, I, I won't forget that now. Is that right? right? You found just the right in case. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You found the right spelling. Uh, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's a. Chris Gishlin mentioned not what was in our text, right? Uh, anybody remember that one? Yeah, about the llama. Yeah. Well, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, what? Well, Stingy. Yeah. 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 With, with, the, with the parsimony. <laughs> That's like. Parsimonious. 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 Shakespeare word. Thrift. Oh. Thrift. Thrift. Oh. oh. So when you want to say that someone is no. oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. cheap, but they're parsimonious. Yeah. I think there's no <laughs> saw actually in the room. I don't care. It's just really <laughs> You need to know that. Without that? <laughs> but it's perfect. But thrifty yeah. kind of is the other yeah. kind of. Yeah. Thrifty. No, that's that's too much. It's stingy or miser. Yeah. Gishali, you know if in this one there's an S after the rule? Thirty's not exactly. I don't know, but you guys could look it up. I I I don't think they spell it very often. Like you won't see it in a book very often. It's no S. No S. Yeah. So you found it? As Runaka. As whatever that parse means. Parse means to you got the plane, boss. Yeah. Uh, I am got the plane. Hang on a minute. <laughs> I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing V's. Uh, I'm doing V's check-in for tomorrow. Whoa, <laughs> oh, Mr. Funny Llama. <laughs> <laughs> I got the plane. <laughs> you got the window seat. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Stanley has the plane, even though your mouth is full. Just say boom, boom. Oh, sorry. It's very overcast. Okay. Uh, do the whole page and do the whole screen. Okay. So, Tani Taki Kyun Lam Meparje. Cha. 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 No, but I'm. Ch- when you teach someone pronunciation, uh, exaggerate in the beginning. When you teach someone a pronunciation, exaggerate in the meaning. Yeah, wa. But you don't see Tibetans going yeah, wa. <laughs> If you want someone to go to Chicago, get them to Iowa. If you want someone to go to Iowa, tell them they have to go to Chicago. That's what I mean. As long as they're in Minnesota. Come on, Stanley. Are you eating nuts or are you helping the nuts? Jenna Goa Ni. Goa? Goa. 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 Ni. Ndrel Chate. Nice. Okay, good. Uh, Tawa means root text. We're going back to the root text. Dani means now, from now on. Here it means, well, now I'm going to change my ways. <laughs> okay, Dani, uh, instead of criticizing other people, right? Yeah. And the example was divisive talk, mm-hmm. which created other people talking bad about me, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, instead of that kind of talking, I will. Mepa means to put down. 
It's also Serna Me, which means the lower, the lower half of Serna. Mm -hmm. Put down my own. In position, not in eminence. Uh, <laughs> uh, Obviously, physical position. Yeah, physical position. Uh, I will mepa my own kids. So if I talk bad about anybody, yeah, if I point out anyone's faults, I will my, my point out my own my faults. I, I will talk about my own faults, okay? So I will put down my own faults, okay? Uh, from now on, you know, I'm going to change my ways, because I don't like other people, putting other people criticizing me, okay? So don't try to write more things on the internet or out internet the guy. <laughs> it doesn't work. It, it just doesn't work, and you will waste your time. You will waste your life. <laughs> Stop criticizing others, uh, be aware of your own faults, and then suddenly other people will stop criticizing you, okay? Well, we should respectfully respond to them when it's necessary. Yeah, that's also a bodhisattva vow. Yeah. If, if they would yeah, listen, yeah. if they would listen, but sometimes it's mm -hmm. hopeless, yeah. Sheti, Dilayang, uh, now about this one, Dilayang, Gashi means Lala, Lala. Some. Yeah, there's a. You can see in some pe. Yeah, in some. This means addition. Addition. Okay. In some additions. Mm. This pe means addition of a book. It doesn't mean a book. Okay. In some additions. Mm. You can see this line as. Mm. What's the difference? Not my problems, but the problems of my. I generate by my mouth. Good. Oh, Good. No. Okay. So th he says, you see the root text written two different ways. And this is common in this lojo, because it was old and it was right. passed down orally. And we've seen already a couple of cases. So here's another case. Uh, so, sorry, go ahead. In a couple of cases, they've like rhymed and stuff. It's been like... Yeah, knock sounds like doc, yeah. which seems to imply that these mistakes were because of oral, oral transmission. Yeah. yeah. Mongolians, for example, can't say knock, they say ak. Mm -hmm. They cannot say knock to say not to save their life. We're not great at it. Either. So ak. Yeah. So, you know, maybe some guy said ak and somebody said, Oh, he must have said dot. Mm -hmm. But he really said not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, anyway. I will put down the faults of my speech instead of I will put down my faults. Okay? I will put down the faults of speech rather than I will put down the faults of myself. Okay? Okay? And the Shei Jungwei, that's what you see in those books. That's what you see in those other editions. Teta Chena, if you do it that way, Koa Tel Chak, say Del Chak. Del Chak. It means it dovetails. It dovetails, you know. Uh, it's not bad. We could do it that way. Oh. So you should learn the word del chak, and that should be in your quiz. Okay, del chak. Yeah, why not? How about we start with a quiz to get people back in the mood? Okay, del chak means, you know, you can read it either way, and they kind of they kind of go they go well together. Yeah, they mesh del chak. Okay, chak means to become. And del means connected, so it's a connect become. It means they fit well together. Let's like, see. He kind of wants to keep both of them. Okay, okay. She doing data, chena. If you do it that way, the the understanding you get from it, koa. Okay, koa. Uh, hear to hear. Understanding. Uh, ko can mean either to hear or to understand. Uh, it makes sense. He's just saying it makes sense. You know, you can do it either way. It makes sense. Okay. Mm. So he's gonna he's gonna give a commentary on what it would be if you read it that way, and then he's gonna give a commentary on what it would be if you read it the original way. So here's his commentary on what it would be if you said, from now on, I'm gonna criticize uh, me speech. speech, just speech. We don't know what speech. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna criticize. Yeah, because he replaced doc with not. Okay, Dutch, please read. Did you read this? No. Okay. Okay. 
Good. Good. So he's glossing ta ni ta ni now as chin chin ne He he glosses it. Since that time? Yeah. From this time on. Mm -hmm. Which we already yeah. talked about. Okay, but he the root text just says now I will criticize mm -hmm. speech. Meaning from now on. He he's glossing now. Okay, means chin chin ne sungte. I will criticize rangi ngaki ken. What did he add? What did he add? Yeah, he added me. Okay, my 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 faults of speech. Okay, uh, and then he gives an example. He gives two examples, which are bad deeds number six. No, five and six. Six and seven. Yeah, six and seven is right. So it's divisive speech five. and harsh speech. Five and five oh. and six. No, lying is four. lying is four. Mm -hmm. So two, yeah, two, five two, and five. seven. Five and seven, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, harsh is no six. Harsh speech is six. Harsh is six. Divisive harsh speech. Harsh is six. Harsh is seven. No, meaningful speech. Oh, you're right. Seven. Six. Okay, five and six. Yeah. He lists five, five and six. six. Which two didn't he list? Lying and idle. Hot. Okay. Uh, wow, that was cool. All right. Uh, so, etc. That's in the etc. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I will map those. Put them down. Yeah, I'll put them down. And in this way, and, and he actually glosses what it means to put them down. Oh. See, hmm. what it really means when you put down your own faults of is that, yeah, you <laughs> got, you gotta, you gotta good, uh -huh. stop doing them, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so, you know, don't go around telling people, uh, I lie a lot, okay? <laughs> and then lie, you know? <laughs> Wait, no, I don't. Uh, yeah. okay, don't you. put your, <laughs> <laughs> it's not just to put your speech down. Is to stop doing it. You know, that's he, how he glosses it, which is really cool. Okay, and it's sensitive that the that someone was writing this down at a at a talk. It's kind of cool. Okay, now he's going to say, "How about we read it the first way?" Okay, so please go ahead, uh, Adam. You got the plane. Yanda ki la me parcha now. Kyun <laughs> Yeah, the prenasal for B is M, Mba. They come from the same part of the mouth. So when you do a prenasal, you match the same part of the mouth. Mba, okay. Uh, there's a joke in the first line, and it's worth $50. Before the first comma, there's a joke. <coughs> Boy, it's awful quiet. <laughs> Lots of processing, cerebral processing going on. <laughs> Motivated by greed. <laughs> <laughs> but it works. <laughs> Sometimes. It's like talking about my problems doesn't stop my problems. You're, you're close. Oh, talking about other people's problems doesn't stop my problems. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is canceled. Uh, there's also no problem if you talk about putting down your own problems. Um, okay, the second cune is, he's making a joke. Yeah. There's no problem if you want to say it the other way, mm -hmm. which is put down your own problems. Okay, that's no problem. Okay, in the colloquial? Uh, can, uh, can we do? Yeah, very, very, very crumb. Mayo and tea. You know, no problem. Which usually means there is a problem. <laughs> is there anything wrong with the car? Oh, man, don't go in the car today. 
the monastery car. Every time someone says there's no problem, you're like, oh, okay, I'll use it tomorrow. <laughs> okay, Jena <laughs> okay. There's finally the Jew in his, in his, in his famous Lumba Jew. Yeah, to express. In his famous, uh, yeah. Right. Okay. For What's the na'ang? If. Uh, there's no problem. It, 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 it means even if. Oh, even if. Even, even if. if. Even if you take the first reading, which is about my problems, mm -hmm. there's no problem. Okay. Okay, okay got it? Mm -hmm. uh, it means uh, chinche. From that time on. Yeah, from now on. Shengikin. Others problems. Problems. Don't express. Yeah, I won't express. I won't talk about other people's problems. I'll, meaning their faults. I'll talk about Rangikin. Just mine. And not just Rangikin, but Bashik. Yeah, only my problems and nobody else's problems. Mepache, uh, it then. I have to do it. That's the point. That's the meaning of that line. Okay, cool. So if you don't like people criticizing you, then just put yourself down for your mistakes of speech and don't talk about other people, okay? And then people will magically stop criticizing you online and stuff like that. Okay. So, Kang Yang Ma Tak Yu Tu Kye Ta Na Tu Kye Tu Kye Ben? Pa Na Kye Pa Na Ma Tak Dark? Dark. Because dark means my faults, right? And this dark means pure. So you gotta make the difference. Low, low voice. Dark. Good. Dark. That's a real G. That's a real G. If it has something in front of it, it's a G. Gom. Yi. Yi. Yeah. Nice. You're getting the uh, refrain in your head. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> it's slowly sinking into the concrete. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my, my jokes are all loving jokes. You know that. Yeah, that distributes the rest of But every joke reflects some truth. <laughs> uh, or it's not a joke. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> so if I am Kepa born, born in a Yu which is Matha. Somehow impure, something wrong with the place. He's gonna explain. He's gonna explain. Okay. If I am any any old Yeah, if I happen to be born into a place which is impure. Okay. Uh and then in this formula, what's the second line? Uh, oh, the what correlation. Yeah. It's the correlation. It's what I did in my past positive things. It's very beautiful. Uh, it gets heavy because it goes to Tantra. Mm -hmm. This Lama loves an excuse to go to Tantra. And here's the number one excuse to go to Tantra. Okay? It's because you, you spent many lifetimes practicing looking for the negatives in your life and not looking at what's going so well not looking at the cool things okay mm -hmm. and there's a sutra version of that and there's a tantra version of that okay but but to put it simply you just didn't have a positive out outlook on life you were more interested in the problems around you especially in other people than you were in the good things that are going you you didn't appreciate the beautiful things in your life, and you spend your whole life worrying about, you know, your problems, and it's, okay, it's a very powerful uh, section. This section is, mm -hmm. you could take this section out and teach it for an hour, and you would really help your audience, you know, okay. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, if I, if I had to speak at the upcoming class, uh, classes, or, or even the next one, if I were you, I, I would, I mean, personally, I really like this one, but you have, you know, it's your mm. class, so. Anyway, Shepa. Shepa. Wait, who's got the plane? Phil? Shepa. <laughs> Good. Shepa. Kang Kang Yang Ma Da Da Pe Yung Ni Ta 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 Rang Che Chak 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 Ki Ma Ta Pe Da 
<laughs> you Nine. Huh? Not tea. <laughs> tea. Oh, tea. Yeah. Ah. You two. No. 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 Mang wat tang yi chu mi mong wa mi ong wa la sopa di tat kam. Okay, cool. Uh, you're getting better. Uh, you're catching up. Shepate, that's the root of Texas. Kayama dape yuni. So, what does it mean uh, when they say in some impure place? What does it mean to say, in some impure place? What does that mean? Well, you could take the thing that people like you and me would identify, Munzin, mm-hmm. as an impure place. Let's, let's start with what we normally think of as an impure place. And then he's going to Tantra after that, okay? Uh, but let's start with what you and I would think of if you said impure place, like is it there's poo poo around or you know there's lots of garbage on the street or, or what? Let's start with that. How do you, how how would you and I identify what um, impure place means? Is this okay. You and I nowadays. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, nowadays exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here, uh-huh. right here and now. Well, uh-huh. if I said impure place, what would you guys think of? Right. I was he was born in an impure place. Oh, there's lots of garbage and you know, okay. So then he gives an example. Perna. Uh in the place where you live, okay? It doesn't mean in the place where you and I are living right now. He's not saying that. In the place where this theoretical person lives, okay? In that place, uh I want to read Der Toki. It, it'd be easy to read it as your friends, yeah, right. but I think it means... Uh, Those around you? It means uh, connected with this place, I, I, I believe. Oh, really? It doesn't say Tokpo. It right. means associated, okay? Okay. As, it, it doesn't say Po, which would be friend. Uh, it says associated with. Token means associated with. <laughs> associated with this place. There's a lot of Nupa kill me. Um, harm, okay. Harm, 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 harmers. harmers. Harm doers. Kel means to do a harm. Okay. People who want to hurt you. Uh-huh. Okay. Unfortunately, mimangwa is a very common word. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So I was staring at it for half an hour and I was like, oh, duh. It's kel mi mangwa and not kel mi mangwa. Because that would mean. There's not, not yeah, there's not many people around here who would like to yeah. do something to harm you. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, ra- rather, mm. it says there's a lot of people around associated with the place that you're living, okay, uh, in the place you're living, okay, and there's a lot of yidu miyongwas. Uh, they're, they're coming in the future. Yidu miyongwa yidu means comes to your mind, means attractive. Yeah. Right. Attractive. Oh. So yidu miyongwa. Unattractive. Now that could be garbage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, it just means I, I would distribute it to associate it with the place. Oh, so uh, typically in that state, uh, there's a lot of garbage or, or, you know, mean people and stuff like that. Okay? That's then what he's saying, the Lama is saying in his talk, he's saying that's what you and I would think of as a, as an impure place. Okay, but is, uh, is things like just understood here, like yidu miyongwa is, is an adjective? Yeah, it? yeah, right. But it can often mean yidu miyongwa's, <laughs> yeah, un, unattractive's. But it's part of the list of nouns too. Yeah, that's a, but it's an adjective. And then the calm means. But so into sentence. Oh, or, or, or. Yeah, or you could say, or you could say, and then he's going to go to Tantra. You know, or you, or you know, you could look at this in a tantric way. Let's go to that one, he says, okay? And I, this is what's kind of very enjoyable about, about your author, because he'll throw in some divine stuff uh, in the 
in this Madape, you know, he's like a dirty country, and then he's like, let's throw in some angels. <laughs> okay, so wait, who's got the plane? Anton? Yang Na. Yang Why not? Why is it important? Because it's the country. We just had. Not, which means not, which means speech. This is a totally different word. Not, which means the practice of the secret teachings. Mm -hmm. So don't say not when you should be saying not. not. Okay, any nasal. What are the nasals? Down, go down the fourth column. Na na ma. Na 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 ma. Put anything in front of them. They go high. They go high tone. Okay. No. Good. Thank you for not banging. Here we go. Do it right. Make it long, because we, we want to know it's an instrumental. What? There's a butcher in there? Good. You uh, didn't say dark, thank you. Dark. Yeah, by the way, the low voice rule also holds for anything that has something under it. So this is che. Yeah, che. Okay. Che. Nice. Che. Nice. Can. Can. Yeah. <laughs> nice, not bad. And I'm sorry for bugging you, but you're going to become perfect and then you'll get some peace and quiet. <laughs> yeah, he's doing good. Naki uh, Wong Chippa. In, in, in regards to Tantra, yeah, yeah, uh, you know, relative to Tantra, if we, if we switch to Tantra, if we switch to the secret teachings, and Wang uh, Dichenna, if if with reference to the secret teachings, here it is. The appearance of things as crappy. Normal. Which is what what is Geshla always going to say after this word? The biggest sin. In, nice. What's the biggest sin? The biggest sin in Tantra. Worse than killing people. Uh, yeah. Worse than killing people. Tantra. Yeah. Oh, Nick's just a normal person. Okay. Tantra can know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, by the way, if you don't see things as self-existent, you're more likely not to see them as Tamil, as normal, because you're aware that they're coming from you, and they could have been divine. Which is why we I could have had a V8. There's an old advertisement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a juice, uh, like you know, and the guy. The advertisement always start out with the guy says. Dang, I could have had a VA. You know. I, I could have had angels around me, but I chose to have schmucks. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, okay, that was my choice. Dang, I could have had angels. Tamaki Noah. Dang. De kepe shemba. But our attachment. This is the principle that we were talking about downstairs yesterday, where once you understand something, you can make a mistake in your actions. Okay? You can misact. Okay, if you misunderstand, the next thing that happens is you misact. Mm. Link one, link two, uh, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, you make big mistakes. So if you take people as normal, well, then you're gonna... Be attached to power. Yeah, you're gonna have some kind of... Uh, and we don't know what kind. Huh. He just says you're gonna have some shemba. Things being impure. Uh, yeah, okay. you're gonna look for impure things. Yeah. You're gonna get in the habit of looking for impure things. You're going to see people's problems instead of their potential. Okay. Shempe. Matapa la chepate. And that's what matapa means in Tantra. Mm -hmm. Okay. You choose to see things as less than divine, and then you get stuck with it. You get stuck with less than divine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and te. Matapa chekinsawa ni deyena. 
And that's the main messer uppers of environments. It's not the people who throw garbage around. It's not the factories that make pollution. It's not the creepy people who drive their cars bad. It's you choosing to see the negative rather than the positive. Okay. Geshe-lad, it's, yes. it's hard sometimes, and it doesn't <laughs> always feel like a choice. Do you have any like words of pep talk for how to make that choice? I, don't know, I guess you have to think about the pen. <laughs> but also, you can make lists. If, if you spend five minutes making lists, like how many things going well in my life, how many things amazing in my life, make that list, and then say how many schmucks I met today. And uh, if you start making lists, then, uh, the, then the, you look at the two lists and it's like, yeah, she's, what am I thinking, you know? I think list making helps. That's cool. List making helps. Yeah, how many things do I have to be thankful for in my life? Yeah. How many things are beautiful? Okay. Go ahead. Kantar Young Te Ndrewe Drawe Ndrawe Ma Tak Takpe Yutu Kepe Te Dinyam Tuhan Ki Kewa Kewa Nung Remember what you just learned? <laughs> Here's another one. Yeah, good. Here's another one. Shen. Shen. La matape ngawa ngawa ba ba shit tak tak par te kyun ni kyun yeah kyun kyun ni chetu yeah, now, if any third column letter has a letter in front of it, you're allowed to make an English sound. Gom. Gom, gom. Yeah, gom, gom. Gom, gom, te. Le ngang, 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 gi, dre, ki, grab, dre, dre, bu, yin, tuk, 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 nyam, tu, <laughs> yeah, yeah, nyam. Nyam yeah. to Semna. Samna. Samna. But same meaning. Same meaning. Uh, this is a nice idiom to put on your list for your next quiz next time. Okay? Kang mm-hmm. Dayang. And this is a common and colloquial. Kang Either which one? Yeah, I mean, okay, whichever you do, let's go on. Okay, anyways. It means anyways. Uh, so so it's, it's, common in a, it's common in spoken Tibetan, you know. Yeah, we got this problem with this guy, and this guy's doing well, but... Uh, ah, well, anyways. Either way, let's, let's go on. Okay, Kantayang. It means, okay, I left you with that little jewel, and I'm going on. Kantayang. Uh... When you are born, say Kepa, in a yu, which is Madapa, <laughs> like that, terrible sound. Oh, yeah, in that way. Then like that. Okay, meaning either like that, either either like that that I gave you. Mm-hmm. Okay, meaning uh, what was the first one? Oh, people around you like to hurt you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Garbage. Like yeah, or. In a in a world where you take everything less than what you could have, mm-hmm. okay. Uh, either way, if you're born in that place, what what do you want to what what are you supposed to do? He moves on, you know. Okay, we identified what's a madagbeyu. We just figured out what's an impure place. Now now, what are you supposed to do about it? Okay, yeah. if you do get born uh, there, then dinyamdu. Think to yourself? Yeah, nice. Think to yourself the following. Okay? Dinyamdu. Think to yourself the following. It starts here. Ranki Kewangumanam Shenla. In my past life. In my past life, me, right? Not the other guy. Ranki I it was my fault. In my previous lives, in my other lives. I had a matakme nangwa. This nangwa doesn't mean appearance. It's not from the object, okay? In whose text is big on nangwas right now? Uh, 50-50 text. I think... 
No, who's on the 50th? It's Paula. It's Paula. Right? Paula. Yeah, she's, she's in the magician. She had some downwards. Yeah. Anyway, how I appeared in the study of Tantra, mm. uh, Nangwa doesn't mean that. It means how do you take it? Mm. You see? How do you take the appearance? It's called appearance. Okay? So it's commonly mistranslated as a divine appearance, but doesn't mean that. Take things as a divine appearance. You see what I mean? It's Nangwa. It's just called Nangwa. Okay? So it was due to m that I was uh, constantly. Uh, doing an internal meditation in my own mind. Yeah. How often? Takbar. It's constantly. Well, he glosses it as constantly. <laughs> you see? Takbar yeah. meaning, yeah. this Gyun means yeah. without, without I never break. took a break. Yeah. Yeah. I never took a break yeah. from, yeah. from morning yeah. to night. Yeah. I never spent five yeah. minutes thinking about the beauty. I, I didn't take a single break mm. from the time I woke up to the time I went to bed. I didn't, for five minutes, I didn't think how, how amazing my life is, okay? I didn't give it a slack. Just kept pushing on it, tapa, okay? What? Exclusively uh -huh. on looking at what's wrong with things, okay? Exclusively devoted to thinking about what's wrong with things from morning to night, okay? Mm -hmm. Without a five minute break. She had a gom gom, and I did this kind of evil meditation, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, and what I see now, this madhakma yu, mm -hmm. this world of schmucks, mm -hmm. uh, is the result of my own bad karma. Bad karma, laying in, okay? So uh, blame yourself, okay? Blame yourself. But then oddly, he ends the sentence with, if you think that way, yeah. he ends the sentence with that. What's, what's going on? He's leading into the uh, exactly. root text. He's leading into, so what should I do? Because the structure of your text is bad thing happening, karmic result, the wheels coming back to me, and then below there's what I should do now, Tani. So there's really four parts to every single correlation. This is what's happening to me now. This is what the karma must have done it. That's the wheel coming back to me. This is what I should do instead. Okay, so now we probably have a new course of action. Mm -hmm. Now there's a new suggestion. What else okay. do you do as the boy so, in the city when you see the wheel descending upon your head? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you see that wheel coming down? Uh -huh. You see an, an iron city with a guy <laughs> yeah. walking around with his head chopped open. Here's what you should do. Okay. So, uh, Tani Tak Ning. No, practice the appearance, simply the appearance of purity. Yeah, yeah but I just purity. told you not to do something. Yeah. So how did use non in the tantric sense? Non, use it from your side and not right. the object side. Oh, yeah. You're the practice of taking things. Nice. As huh? Seeing oh, things. Not. Don't say, I will practice yeah. pure appearance. Right. That's a, that's a, yeah. that's a beginning translator's mistake. Okay? Well, it's actually an intermediate translator's mistake. <laughs> but now that you're advanced, uh, you can translate this as, I will practice seeing pure. things as pure. Okay, talk nung. So don't say I'm going to practice pure appearance. It doesn't make any sense to anybody. Uh, say I will practice seeing things as pure. Okay, okay. Uh, now, here starts his explanation of what it means to see things as pure. Shit, they. Dani, there's that Dani, what's it mean? Now. Yeah, now, from now. Dani. I'm going to change my ways. <laughs> from here on out. In yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. Mba 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 shik gompar ja te sei suyang. Yeah, from now on, I'm gonna have a dark nun. A pure way of seeing things. Nice. 
<laughs> even uh, okay. Uh, towards how much of my life? Oh. Oh. Everything, mm. everything in my life, Gunche. including the schmucky things. <laughs> okay, including the stupid things. Okay, oh. but to everything. I'm going to practice seeing everything as something blessed and divine and amazing, okay? I'm going to try to practice that. Bashi. Only that. Yeah, and never anything else. Never anything else. No more madhag no. No more looking for problems, okay? I'm only going to focus on the beautiful things. Now, and the next part is beautiful. Dead so young. In this way, that way. Uh, let me give you another method. Let me give you a practical way to mm -hmm. implement your decision. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me give you some advice about. A, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I hope we get through this next part. Uh, about seven minutes. I think we can do it. Uh, let me give you some practical advice of how to see everything as beautiful. Okay, it's not that long. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who's next, by the way? Uh, Dr. Dr. Wu. Dr. Wu. Okay. Right. I'm just wondering if we can delay. Okay. Okay. Perna. Perna. Rangla. Nirpa. Kyok. Ken. 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 You know what? I suggest the following. Let me just read it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because there's a tantric version I don't want you to miss. In case somebody dies, the next paragraph is the tantric version. The first paragraph is the non-tantric version. You ready? Yeah. For example, uh, if it hap when it happens, I'm f follow the cursor, okay? Mm -hmm. When it happens that someone shows up who hurts me, who does harm to me, okay? Uh, I'm going to think... Uh, for the purpose of using up ze, ze, uh, my own bad karma, I, I for the purpose of ledu, uh, using up ze with the same prenasal as the honorific of to do, so be careful. Okay, uh, for the purpose of that, Sangye uh, Danchanji Samba Nam Ki by the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, Din Dawe Namba Temba Yin Du. They are emanating as this guy in front of me who's driving his car poorly because they want to help me use up my bad karma. The Buddhas and Bodhisattvas of the Ten Directions are emanating as the schmuck in behind me who's tailgating me because they want me to use up my bad karma from tailgating other people in my past life. Okay. It's a pretty nice lower version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah what's going to happen in the higher version? Okay. That's just the Buddhist and Bodhisattvas trying to help me use up my bad karma. Thank you. Thank you for almost getting in a wreck with me. I had a lady today, she's on her phone, and she's like coming over the line at me, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> but I was like, oh, thank you, Miss Buddha. You know, you know how much bad karma I used up? Yeah. I, I, I hadn't gotten to this part yet. Uh, dupe. Gadinche. Gadinche. This is a very uh, common. It's a very common colloquial expression. What a great kind. Gadinche. You're so sweet. You're so wonderful. You know, you're so kind to me. Thank you. You're so kind. Thank Thank you for almost killing me in my car. <laughs> okay, Karinche Nyambe Gone. That's how you practice looking at things in a pure way. Okay. So it's a very beautiful practical advice. Okay, now we're not. Shenda la yande tabe go ne tanan jongwen and uh, do that in other situations as well, as even in addition to people who hurt you. So any situation, somebody gives you a coffee that's all burnt up, then uh, just think, oh, thanks you for the cafe, people, uh, for using up that bad karma of mine. You are Buddhas trying to help me. Thank you very much, okay? So not just for people who do you harm. Now, Naki uh, Wong Chin, if you take it in a tantric way, Kansha uh, Tamje, every single thing that you see in your life, uh, is the emanation of the wisdom of bliss and voidness. Namba, Namgyun. Uh, we had it in his text a lot. It's the manifestation of the single wisdom which combines two things. You see, the single wisdom of bliss and voidness. In fact, they are all appearing as Vajradhara, the tantric Buddha. This is, this is Vajrapani appearing to me in her car while she's on the phone. I'm so lucky. And it is emptiness 
and Bliss is gonna crash me. <laughs> it's gonna crash into my car. Look, here comes emptiness of Bliss. Okay. What's the music? Meg. Uh, inseparable. Yeah, not too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, inseparable pair. Okay. Namro to shower. Namro means uh, emanation. Uh, the play. The play. Okay. It's not only not threatening. This is the cosmic play. This is the cosmic play. This is the lila. This is the play of the deities. You know. Thank you. You're so cool. I I didn't want that blue car anyway. Ah, uh, Chingna. Okay, if it happens, uh, you won't have the problem. Oh, sorry. Madape nawa yang ondun mepe dendao etsuki kunanda. I like to read it as. Uh, you could read it as uh, there's no way then that you could have a normal perception, okay, impure perception of things. Um, but it could also mean, when he says dun me, uh, it could also mean, and I would take it that way if I was teaching it, I'd say, don't waste your life. You know, it takes 10 minutes to think she's a schmuck, okay? It wastes your life, okay? Uh, why lose an opportunity to see someone as Vajrapani? You know, there's no point to, to living like that. What does it get you? What's, what's the benefit to you? What's the profit of believing that anyone's not a Buddha? What's the point? Why are you doing that? <laughs> okay? He's like... <laughs> okay. Everything like Dagna and John. Uh, practice it towards everything. Okay? What's the point of wasting your time thinking any one person is not a Buddha? What, what, what are you going to get from that? <laughs> okay? Wait. <laughs> Chitung wow. Naba. No, we reached the fifth session. Now we reached the fifth session. Fifth day of teaching. Perfect place to stop. How many were on the park? I forget. I think it's 12 days. You are racing. It's term five now. Term six. Six. Uh, okay. Yay. Okay, it's useful to do this. Okay. I'm going to run out of dollar signs. For <laughs> 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 that means how much money I'm going to lose next time. Thanks, I have some really pure students who really irritate me because they're like, oh, Gishla, that's just a Buddha, you know? And I'm like, no, but you don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> they really hurt me, you know? And <laughs> they're like, <laughs> you don't understand. They're just, no, really. <laughs> okay. Sweet. Oh, let's take a break.